from the Business Radio X studios in Richmond, Virginia, it's time for Richmond Business Radio. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, another episode of Richmond Business Radio, and this is going to be a good one. But before we get started, it's important to recognize our sponsor, Warcry Consulting Solutions, supporting women to lean into their purpose, craft, their vision, and crush their goals. Today on Richmond Business Radio, we have Sylvia Montgomery with Sims Solutions for Business and Life. Welcome, Sylvia. Hello, Lee. How are you today? I am doing well. I am so excited to learn what you're up to. Tell us a little bit about Sims. How are you serving folks? So Sims Solutions is uh, just that. It's an opportunity to help provide solutions to individuals and businesses, particularly small businesses, because, you know, it's life is hard enough, right? It's not easy. And so when we have the opportunity to provide solutions or to help in any way, then, you know, I just find it an awesome thing to be able to do that. And uh, the solutions I provide are around content creation and copy editing. And that's particularly to businesses or entrepreneurs who, for one reason or another, they may not have time to really take the time to create the copy or that they need the content that they need for their business. And anyone in business knows that content is extremely important in anything that you do. So what I do is I step in there and I help to create that content. And that content can be in just about any form. It can be blog posts, social media, email campaigns, news releases, even websites. Uh, so anything that a business needs, oftentimes there just isn't time. And especially with small businesses, because we wear a thousand and one hats, right? So just being able to provide that type of help and those types of solutions to businesses, you know, is extremely important. And I also work in the way of copy editing. So, you know, when you need someone to look over your work, when you need someone to look over your websites and things of that nature, I also edit books, manuscripts. So for individuals who are trying to create that next project, that next book project, I'm also available to that. And I've helped uh, quite a few businesses over the past couple of years, as well as have edited 28 books project. So, you know, I find that very, you know, I love writing and I love uh, proofing. So that's just something that I love to do. But I really like helping other people to live their best lives and reach their best selves as well. I also provide informational blogs that are very beneficial and useful to businesses, to entrepreneurs who are trying to find solutions to some of their challenges that they have around business. And I am a podcast host where I interview entrepreneurs so that they can help encourage and motivate other entrepreneurs or who are just tr- trying to get started or just getting started. Oftentimes, there are people who want to get started in business, but there are so many challenges they see before them, and they're not quite sure what to do, how to do things. And so my weekly podcast helps to inspire, motivate, encourage, and provide solutions by even giving them people that they can sort of relate to, associate with, and even go to if they need to. So to provide assistance in that way. And then the other thing I do, Lee, is because I'm so focused on purpose, I believe that no one can really be truly happy or fulfilled in life if they are not living their purpose. And I don't care what it is we're doing in life. I work in the federal government for 30 years. And even in doing that, I was not fulfilling my purpose. It is not, it's just been these past few years when I went on my entrepreneur journey that I am now evolving into the person that I was meant to be um, in fulfilling my purpose. And so I am on a mission to help others do that as well. So I've created a purpose course. Um, 
I'm an introvert's guide to finding purpose, to help introverts, extroverts. It really doesn't matter who you are. I just believe that you will not live your best life until you are fully living in your purpose. And so I provide that opportunity as well. So I'm just really excited right now about the opportunities to come to help other people. And um, I just want to do it as often as I can for whomever I can. So let's uh, dig in a little deeper when it comes to purpose. And I agree with you 100%. If you're aligned with your purpose, then life is a lot easier and it's a lot more fulfilling. Do you have any advice for the folks out there who might be struggling, who might be frustrated in the life they're leading on how to kind of know when you're on the right track and that you are kind of uh, living a life of purpose? Are there some things, are there some clues or some work they can do right now to help them kind of identify what their true north is or should be? So it's, you know, it's sort of a tricky question because a lot of times we can be doing things or we can be living a certain way and we find ourselves happy in doing that and we feel a little content. And especially if, uh, you know, if everything's going well for us. And if we're busy, right? It just seems like we're always having something to do. We're always on the go. Um, a lot of times that leaves us with not much time to really think about what we're doing and how we're living. And if we're really, really fully um, happy with what we're doing with our lives. Um, so I say there are quite a few things that we really need to do within us to really ascertain whether or not we're on the path that we're meant to be. And, you know, even with my course, I have people go back as, as far back as they can early in their childhood to just really think about what their dreams were when they were small. Because when we're young, that's when we're our authentic selves, right? That's when we are truly our best selves. We're young and we're thinking, we're thinking up the box. It's like no limits, right? And the sky's the limit for us. Um, but as we get olderly, we find that um, as we get older, we go through life, life happens, um, reality sets in, and all those dreams that we used to have, we no longer have them. We may still have them, but we don't feel as compelled to move forward with trying to fulfill those dreams because life can hit us hard. And when it does, uh, we tend to feel that that's just not possible. So one of the things I tell people is go back to your young self. Because if we go back there, that is where so many of our answers lie. Um, we can do that. Um, one of the things that I did, even though, like I said, I was in the federal government for 30 years, I always felt myself doing things on the side. Um, and I always had people coming to me, asking me certain things, certain questions, as if they knew I could help them. <laughs> I didn't have solutions then, but it was always as if, and even now, you know, people still come to me with certain things. And when that happens, if they come to me enough with those things, then I know that's what I need to figure out how to do for that individual, or that's what I need to figure out how to do for more people um, as part of my solutions package. But um a lot of times the answers are right around us. The answers are there. Um, we're either not paying attention or we just don't want to give into it. Because again, when we truly live our purpose, it's hard. Purpose is not easy. It's a challenge. And a lot of times we just want to avoid it because we feel that it is too challenging. And that's why my podcast, I feel, is just so important because it helps people to understand the challenges are going to come in life, regardless of what you do. Everyone has challenges, even those who have been successful in being able to live the life that they were meant to, to live have had challenges. But we talk about how we get over those challenges and we talk about how to get through those things. Um even when you're not living your purpose, you're going to have challenges. Um, you know, something uh, one of my guests recently said is that choose your heart. Choose your heart because the challenges are going to come. Um, it's going to be hard either way. So do you want to uh, try to challenge through what it is you were meant to do to get over it? Or do you want to have the challenges of something that's not even fulfilling you? Um, 
So you're going to have the challenges. They're going to come. But um, let's have the challenges around what we were meant to do so that we can help you to get over it because help is out there. There are people who are there to support. And that's one of the things that I do at Sim Solutions. Um So those are two of the things I say, go back to your childhood. And I say, just look around you. And when you really take time to take time to yourself, when we get away from our busyness and just really think about our lives, there are like a ton of questions that I put out there for people to just answer about themselves. Um, One of the things I have them do is to define who are you? Answer that question. A lot of us, if you ask, who are you? They're not able to really tell you who they are. So that I think there are so many questions that, that help us to answer that question about ourselves. So, you know, there are some exercises there, but really spending time with yourself because the, the answer lies within you. It's there. And guess what? It's been there all the time. So our purpose is for us. Our purpose is, um, is what, um, makes us truly happy it's what truly fulfills us and if we're not living it um we might be content for a little bit but there's always going to be something that's missing now how do you recommend folks who say okay i believe every word you're saying i am going to now live my life uh with purpose on purpose and um i am so that's going to mean I'm changing a little bit. You know, like you said, you were working 30 years in the government and now you're an entrepreneur. And, you know, coming to a family or a group of friends who were part of that, they might, you know, with your best interest at heart, might not, uh, they might kind of, I don't want to say sabotage, but they might uh, not be as enthusiastic about that drastic change as you were about making it, which that change is difficult by itself. So how do you kind of protect yourself and insulate yourself, or inoculate yourself from some of the negativity that might come with a change of directions, That especially if it is kind of drastic in terms of what you used to be and what you'd like to be? Mm-hmm. That's a very good question. And again, as I said, you know, it's challenging. It's hard. And that's even one of the challenges, just trying to stay focused. So, you know, once you have an idea, or you've come to an uncertain of what your purpose is, um, and you, you know, you decide this is what I want to do and this is the course I want to take. Um, yeah, they're definitely going to be obstacles. You know, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to lie about that. There are going to be so many obstacles. There are going to be so many distractions. There are going to be people around you who will not understand and who will be very, um, feel very free to tell you, go just stay where you are or a guy, you should just do this. You know, they're even going to put words in your mouth and tell you what you should be doing. Um, but, um, that is why that weekly podcast is so important because, you know, we put that out there, the importance of understanding that those types of obstacles and those are just, you know, those aren't even the real, real, like, um, um, work related obstacles. That's just the mindset thing. Um, you know, it's important that, and mindset change doesn't happen overnight. That's a process. So uh, you have to surround yourself around the right people. And, you know, if you've never been around the right people, again, that's not an overnight thing. You have to look for the right people. Um, you've got to join groups, be a part of networks. There's so much stuff happening online now. There are so many Facebook groups out there um, just for just about anything that you can think of. So if you just do some searching out there, you will find a Facebook group that can relate to what you're going to or what it is you're trying to do even maybe. So I would say connect with the people that you really um, need to help you to think a little bit better, um, be a little bit more positive about what it is you're trying to do. Um, mindset is extremely important. And actually, that's one of the places I start from. Um with my um, course, because again, we're talking about, when you're talking about mindset, you're talking about changing your belief system and uh, changing what you have probably 
thought or believed uh, all of your life. And a lot of that belief system is stuff that we um, learned along the way as we grew up from our parents and then from generations and generations. You know, it could be a generational thing. You know, you don't do this or you don't do that or you shouldn't do that. One of the um, misconceptions that or, or one of the beliefs I had growing up with that one of the things I used to hear a lot was money don't grow on trees. And while that is true, it's a very true statement. It does not grow on trees. But what that led me to believe is that money is very, very, very limited. You know, there's not a lot out there. <laughs> and I believe to this day, there is so much out there. Um, We just need to know how to access it. So it's about accessing the money where it is. Otherwise, it can leave you in a state of feeling very limited and that you have very few options and that there's no way to get to anything. But that's a mindset thing. And that's just something that, you know, how it just triggers and it can change everything. Now, if I really believe that it's there, I just need to figure out how to get to it then that changes everything you see. So that just totally changed how I can now um, feel a little freer about how I move. Otherwise I feel that my future is hopeless and I'll never be able to do the things that I want to do in life. So um, I think that dealing with, you know, mindset, because that is what's going to help us to be able to get through some of those challenges that you just named off. And another thing that I do is I provide six weeks of goal setting. Well, six sessions of goal setting. Um, and in that, what it is, is so once you've discovered or decided what it is you need to be doing, you may not have a clue how to even get started. And so those six sessions of goal setting um, just sort of helps to get you on the right course, even connect you with people that you need to connect to um, in that regard, if that is the case. So there are definitely some things you can do, um, but you're, you're going to have to, if you don't have the right people around you, that's the biggest challenge. Getting past that and understanding that um, you're going to hear so many negative things before you even get started, really. And that can keep us from getting started. And that's the one thing we don't want. Now, is there an ideal uh, client of yours? Is, do you have a niche that you're you're really kind of good at? Or is this for pretty much anybody? Like, do you uh, work primarily with uh, solopreneurs, with big corporate uh, people? Do you work with, you know, executives? Is there a niche that, uh, it, that your solutions are best suited for? So I work mostly with small businesses for the content creation. I understand that time, you know, units don't have the time to put into, you know, that type of work um, because there's research involved. And so I, you know, help them with that and, and get a lot of that done to actually get the blog posts and things of that nature. Um, and I've worked with um, businesses in just about any industry. Um, my favorite industry, though, is finance. And I love writing about um, entrepreneurship in itself so um, but I've worked in uh, many different industries as far as the purpose um, I'm looking more toward individuals who just do not feel fulfilled in life and um, my guess is the reason you don't feel fulfilled is because you're not doing what you are meant to be doing we all have a purpose um From the moment we were born, just as I said, you know, from when we were our smallest selves, there is something we were meant to be doing. And if we are not doing it, then we're not completely fulfilled. And I just want to help people to live their best lives. So if somebody wants to learn more uh, about your practice, uh, maybe get on your calendar for a chat. Is there a website? What is the best way to get a hold of you or somebody on your team? Yes. So... They can go to my website, which is sims-solutionsbl.com, and um, that's sims with two m's, um, hyphen-solutionsbl.com. I'm also on Instagram, sims underscore solutions, and um, they can find me there, and they can email me at business at simsolutionsbl.com. Well, congratulations on all the success and the momentum. Uh, You're doing such important work, and we appreciate you. Well, thank you, Leah. I appreciate being on your show today. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for sharing your story. All right, this is Lee Cantor. We'll see you all next time on Richmond Business Radio.